Hey everyone, this is Two Kitten Funko Review, and uh, this is what happens when you order $500 worth of Funkos from uh, Hot Topic. It's a little hard to see, uh, but this box. <laughs> Big box. Is it. Uh, so if anybody's curious to see how many Funkos are in here, I think it's about 50 Funkos. Uh, we're missing two because they had to separate them because obviously they couldn't get everything in here. Uh, there's a mixture of series, completing series, starting new ones, finishing new ones, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, so let's get this crazy party started. So if you're at, if you're wondering why did we order so much? Because um, we can. Besides, because we can. So uh, if you're not familiar with Hot Topic, they have what is called Hot Cash. Um, so the last couple months we've been getting a lot of Funkos from Hot Topic. They've been having good deals. We like some of their exclusives. Um, and we've been given basically kind of coupons. They call Hot Cash that gives you $15 off for every 30 you spend or 30. Much buy one, get one. Yeah. Or $30 off for every 60 you spend. So we combined all the ones that we had, except for actually two. We actually saw some Hot Cash that we have to go use. Um, uh, we couldn't use them though. There were some sort of issues with them. So we're going to try to go to the store yeah. and use them. Um, so we got basically $500 worth of Funkos for about $250. Oh, give or take. So let's see what we got. Well, we know what we got. We just want to show you guys what $500 looks like in Funkos. Yep. So first up. First up, we have the Dunharo King from The Lord of the Rings. I'm the Lord of the Rings fan. I really love the movies. Uh, books, not so much. I'm going to try and read the books this year, I think. I'm trying to show you guys Let's the glare from the TV's kind oh, um, of messing that up. So we're just going to turn the TV off. I forgot. Okay. I have it in the background. I'm watching uh, Twitch streamers. Yeah. Um, so, so you can see, see Dunharo. The Dunharo King. Ah, this is Annie Edison from Community. Uh, great show. Uh, supposedly something's coming out uh, the 19th. Um, the Russo brothers directed a whole bunch of episodes, so keep an eye on that. Uh, I love Community. It uh, was one of my favorite all-time shows. This is Annie Edison, played by Allison Brie. Uh, she's amazing. Love her. Great actress. Love the series. Love Community. So there's our first one of our new series and that's actually a tv show that thomas got me into if you guys haven't watched it yet it's on hulu, hulu. all six seasons so check it out uh, don't watch season six still watch season six it's part of the show um so the next one we have is another lord of the rings uh boromir boromir so you can see him right here and Thomas has said he's what, like a, a kind of a villain? Not a villain. Yeah. Essentially, so uh, if you know the premises of so Lord of the Rings, anytime that Frodo tries to give a ring to somebody, it sort of draws out the evilness inside of him. And he sort of tries to be like <clears throat> um, Schmeagel uh, to a degree, but not really. Ends up having a very heroic moment. Uh, but yeah, no spoiler alerts, even though. It's been out for like eight hundred years. Yeah. So there's even mud on him. He's got a horn. He's got the like pin that everybody's worn yes. on the cape. So this one's actually really cool. Yeah. So this is uh, I always mess up her name, Galdaria. Uh, she is the elf that they go and see. I also have the haunting version where where Frodo again tries to give her the ring, and she sort of goes into that evil esque mode. So you can see it's her. The Barnes & Noble exclusive is the haunting yes. one, so this is her non-exclusive one that we got. Yes. So there is that one. Europe. So next we have Ooh, another one for Thomas. This is a Molten Man from Spider-Man Far From Home. This movie just came out. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's amazing. go take a look at it. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Spider-Man fan. I've been in love with Spider-Man ever since I was knee high to the grasshopper. Um, so I just, I love, love, love Spider-Man. Just something about his character, who he is, and what he represents. Be right back, guys. Thomas is going to keep talking. Yeah, so this is the next one. It is Jesse from Toy Story. Look at that. Uh, so we saw Toy Story 4 over the weekends, two weekends ago, I think, when it came out. Uh, it was a great movie. Hit you right in the feels. Uh, I'm always a skeptic of certain things. 
I didn't really feel like they needed to make a Toy Story 4, but it was still a good movie. Great ending. Probably won't see another one unless they do something crazy. Uh, no spoilers on that. Uh, we saw it opening yeah, night, and yeah. Opening yeah. Night. I didn't think either there should have been a Toy Story 4 until I saw it, and yeah. Totally worth seeing if you guys are Disney fans. Uh, and we have, of course, seen all three of them because we are a Disney household, essentially. Disney, Marvel, all that stuff, so there is that. I'm a Disney nerd, as I've said before. So, Jeff Winger. we got another community. Jeff Winger, which, is he the main character, He's, you would say? I would say the main character, so. main protagonist. Uh, played by Joe McHale, comedian. Was on E! Talk Soup. Yep. He also has a new show out. Uh, it's a uh, hosting a TV uh, game show. Hosting a game show. Uh, he also had a Netflix special that they canceled. Boo, boo. Uh, he's more of a dry humor, funny guy. I like him. I think he's great. Uh, but again, in that series, I think he's absolutely perfect in community. Yeah. yeah. He does have a cell phone in his hand, which is awesome. If you guys are familiar with the show. Always got a cell phone in his hand. Got the 12 o'clock shadow, which he always has. Yeah. Alrighty, who is this? Looks like Ariel. I like how you're opening mine. Oh, I just, it's random. And you're opening mine. So, obviously the Disney set is more mine. Um, this series just came out, so yes. of course I had to grab it. Um, it's like for 30 years of The Little Mermaid. And oh. this is Ariel when she uh, yeah we knew about oh that. i didn't know about um that. this is era when she like at the end of the movie where she comes out of the water her dad is giving her legs and she's got this beautiful dress on so she can go be with her prince i was uh pointing out the back there's a 10 inch ursula where she's um all big and mean and ursula -y. in her main villain part where she's taken over she's got triton's crown on she's got his yeah. trident and all that so Happy about that one. What do we got next? Uh, you open. Oh. I opened that one. You just sort of... <laughs> I got another one of yours. Charmander! Uh, Thomas is a Pokemon fan, so we got I'm him. an original 151 fan, so when I saw Charmander and Bulbasaur and the new Squirtle that's coming out, I had to get them. Because, of course, you got to collect them all. Like, that's the whole thing. Got to catch them all. Yeah. Got to catch them all. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I loved the game. I played the Game Boy game when it originally came out, watched the show, had the cards, everything. So I loved the original 151. So I'm a big, big old school Pokemon fan. Alrighty, let's see what's on this one. Oh, hey, look at that. This is sort of our dual collection, Darth Vader, Electro. Uh, this is part of the... Um, <clears throat> no, if you're really going to be able to see it Old in school box. movies, the, the last, the third one. Uh, where he he's going th crazy. This one's called, I think it's called Electrocuted. Yeah. Um, you guys can't really see, but like... It's really cool. Basically, actually. I mean, like, the top of him is blue because he's being electrocuted. We'll do an unboxing of that one so you can yeah. actually really see the so in-depth information. We're jointly um, collecting the Star Wars, basically any and all Star Wars we can get our hands on because it was just too easy... Um, not to, um, you can't pick one movie if you're a Star Wars fan. You yeah. can't pick one series. You basically like them all or you don't. So, um, next, I finally got one of mine. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. We switched, guys. Um, so this is for Toy Story 4, Buzz Lightyear. Um, he's actually on a stand because he's actually flying. Um, so really cool to get that one. Alrighty, so this is Patty Minis. Uh, this is almost the complete set for my Doug collection, if you noticed. I, we did do a video of the Doug series, so this yep. is Patty. Uh, this is actually short hair Patty. So when she originally got introduced, she had long hair, then something happened and she cut her hair short. And Doug was still in love with her, um, still wanted to marry her, everything else like that. I think the only one I need is Skeeter. Skeeter. Um, so. Skeeter's kind of hard to find, so we're on the lookout for Skeeter. Might grab him through Amazon or something else. Yeah. Um, but we have Doug, 
pork chops, and now patty. And we got the Hot Topic exclusives. Which, which is quail dog and, and quail man. man. Yep. Alrighty. Joy and Abed in the morning. This is Abed Nadir. Uh, Abed is a fourth wall breaker of community. Essentially, he pretends that he's in a show within a show. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing character. Uh, I love him. He's probably my all-time favorite character. He's very uh, eccentric, but also amazing. So that's uh, Abed. So next we have ah, one, another one of Thomas's. He wanted to finish up the Spider-Man Far From Home series. So here Happy is Hogan. Happy Hogan. Um, if you're not familiar, Happy Hogan is kind of Tony Stark's best driver, friend. best friend, sidekick, kind of does everything. Um, Security guard. Not a very good yeah. one. Um, so basically, of course, you know, this is the latest Spider-Man. Unfortunately, Tony Stark has passed away. Spoiler alert Spoiler. if you haven't seen Avengers. Oh my which God. You should have already. You should, yeah, you should have already. Um, so Happy Hogan is in the latest Spider-Man, too. So. Yes. Um, the only one I'm missing is Mysterio. We can't seem to find him anywhere, which is weird because he was out all over the place earlier. And I was sort of like, oh, we can wait, we can wait. And now we can't um, find now him. Now we can't find him. So and I want both. The uh, Hot Topic exclusive where he's unmasked and, of course, the masked version. So if anybody has a good lead or has an extra Mysterio they're willing to get rid of or sell to us or trade to us, please let us, please know. Let us know. So I'm going to let Thomas... Alrighty, and speaking of which, here is another Spider-Man. But this is into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man. This is Peter Parker. Uh, this should actually be technically Fat Peter Parker. If you haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse, uh, you should watch it. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing film. It is animated. Uh, it's CG um, animation style. Don't forget, uh, they are coming out with a second one. Uh, she actually goes along with my Spider-Gwen. I think I have Spider-Gwen into the Spider-Verse. Um, I really want the Miles Morales one. He's in the black and red suit, and then the Spider-Man Noir, which is just the old school Spider-Man with the uh, fedora and everything. But so, of course you want the whole set. I do want the whole set. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. So next, ah, one of my Little Mermaids. We have Scuttle. He's got a thingamajig, right? He has um, dingle hopper, dingle hopper, which is the fork he's holding. Um, like I said, it's Disney. I gotta collect all the Disney. Um, I just think the Scuttle is also really cute because Scuttle was just such a funny character. He was an interesting character. Um, he claimed to know everything about the human world, but of course he got all the names wrong. So. Didn't know anything about the human world. Scuttle is cool to collect, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go over. Oh, this is one of Morgan's. This is a Toy Story 4. Woody, Sheriff Woody. Uh, so there's two versions of this one. There's the Sheriff Woody without Forky, and then there's the one with Forky. The Forky is a Hot Topic exclusive. Which no, Forky is a GameStop exclusive. No, the one where he's got Sheriff Woody. Oh, he's holding Forky. He's holding Forky. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Hot Topic exclusive. Yeah, it is. So, there, she's talking about the Forky itself, which was a GameStop, where he's frowning, compared to the original, where he's all smiley face. So which, this is the regular Sheriff Woody without Forky, uh, again from Toy Story 4. And we actually did just get the regular Forky, mm -hmm. um, actually got him through Disney Movie Rewards. If you guys are not familiar with that, if you buy Disney movies, see Disney movies, and this includes Marvel, um, definitely should sign up for Disney Movie Rewards. It's free to do. You get points for every movie you see, movies that you buy, um, and you can use those points to get stuff. Um, I accumulated enough points and I got the Forky Funko Pop for free. So, all right, next. Next, the Little Mermaid as a mermaid, Ariel. As a mermaid, she's also got her little bag in her hand, collecting all the stuff before she goes to see Scuttle. So that is just the original Little Mermaid as we all know and love her. And just to let you know, here is the Ursula. She's pretty heavy, actually, as a box. Uh, so you can see Ursula with her two eels. pet eels. Flotsam and Jetsam. Jetsam. Flotsam and Jetsam. 
Essentially, if you don't know what flotsam and jetsam is, uh, it is the uh, garbage that puts up on shore uh, from the sea. That's flotsam and jetsam. Which, I didn't know that, so. so yeah. see, see why I keep hanging out with him? He just has random knowledge. And more of our Little Mermaid series. I got the whole set that was available through Hot Topic. Uh, Prince Eric, because who is Ariel without her Prince Eric? Um, and this is him from the ship. He's got his spyglass, you know, the boots, the shirt. So this is him on the ship. Um, so really cool to grab him. I'm trying to show you guys about the glare. And... Yeah, so I just looked it up just to be on the safe side. Yeah, Flotsam and Jetsam is specifically a sunken ship or ship washed ashore. And then Jetsam is the stuff that's actually thrown overboard by ships that's not used. So, trivia for the day, folks. Here is Shirley from Community. Bennett from Community, uh, Shirley's like the mom of the show. Uh, she's a great character. Uh, love her personality. She's a great actress as well. Uh, honestly, this whole series—if you haven't gone seen—if you haven't seen Community, it's on Hulu. Watch it. It's funny. I love it. It's one of those shows that is meaningless but awesome at the same time. And I'm gonna let Thomas open another one. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So that phone is uh, essentially Morgan at work. Um, so there might be some editing in between, just as a heads up. Um, so we're apologize about that. Uh, but for the most part, she comes back afterwards. So we do apologize about the ringing. But the show must go on. Ben Chang. Ben Chang is my second favorite character. Actually, third. So it goes Abed, Troy, and then Ben Chang. So Ben Chang is the villain-esque creature in Community. Uh, even though there's, it's not really that type of show, he's just crazy off his rocker. This is from the Paintball series. Uh, I love it because he's got the paintball in his hand. He's got... A matchstick in uh, his mouth. Yeah, a matchstick in his mouth. So I just, I love the detail. And of course, the paintball episodes were always one of my favorite episodes in the community. Really funny show, guys. Again, if you haven't watched it, check it out. Um, and more from community, we got Troy Barnes. The second part of Troy and Abed in the morning. And the funny thing is, if you actually look, both Abed and Troy in the series are actually having the cup in their hand. So it's actually part of that Troy and Abed in the morning series. It's just this little fictional show that they created, sort of like a morning show where they have guests come on, but there's no cameras. Like they show up, a bunch of people are there, but there's no cameras. Like they're trying to be Good Morning America. Yeah. Oh, Whew. so I'm- He's a, not excited about this one at all, guys. A big Batman fan. Uh, I've always loved Batman, just his character, sort of the, um, a superhero who doesn't give any Fs about anybody else sort of thing. Uh, now this one, Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, this is the Dawnbreaker series. It's actually part of the 80th editions or 80 year anniversary edition. Uh, he's got the green suit and everything, and it's actually really, really cool. I really loved it. I love the box because you can see it's got the gold embroidering with the black outlines. Uh, just very popish, very poppy. Shiny. Um, so if you watched our other series, we did the Dorbs 80th, so now we have this one as well. And next, another one of Thomas's got Pokemon Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Uh, so if you ever played the original uh, games, you first started off to be took between Charmander, Bulbasaur, and uh, Squirtle. So of course those three are coming out, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Once we can find the uh, Squirtle, we'll definitely be getting that one. Uh, now they do have two 10-inch uh, versions as well. They're Hot Topic exclusives. I need to grab those, but they're just... I thought the Bulbasaur's Target. Uh, yeah, one's Target. Sorry. What did I say? You said Hot Topic. No, yeah. Uh, no, they're both Target exclusives. Sorry, we, this is from Hot Topic. Uh, they're both Target exclusives, so they're a little bit harder to come by. I haven't seen a 10-inch Charmander, so I'd really like to get that as well, because I think that'd be cool. All right. Uh, ooh, guess what? One of mine. Mary Poppins. Uh, this is from Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, she's a huge Mary Poppins fan. Uh, I, unfortunately, am not. I think anybody who grew up watching the original Mary Poppins, um, they did a good job with the Returns. This is a Hot Top exclusive. She's got the umbrella, so this is kind of where she first comes in. 
Um, but yeah, this movie's kind of a little near and dear to my heart because my grandmother actually used to sing me some of the songs. So I had to grab this since the Hot Topic exclusive. Next, what else we have? Yeah, okay. yeah oh. I opened that one. So next we have one of the Toy Story 4s. We got Bunny. Uh, it's They're both played by uh, Key Pell and... Key and Peel. Key and Peel. Yeah. Um, I can't, I, honestly, I don't remember which one plays which. Uh, not because, like, they weren't memorable, it's just I'm bad with the, like, switching back and forth between characters like that. And speaking of which, here's Lucky, the other version of them. These two are actually together. In the movie, they're the attached movie. together. They're attached together. Um, they're actually, it's, their character, their characters are extremely funny, and the, their dynamic they have between each other Very is, funny. is extremely funny. All right, so let's see here. While well, she goes to check that out, I've got oh, Mr. Metz. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge baseball fan. I do like baseball overall, but this is a Mr. Metz. Uh, the reason why I got him is because I'm a huge Mets fan. I love the Mets. I've been in love with the Mets since I was a child. Uh, me and my best friend would go see some of the games when we could. Uh, we got to see one before I left uh, to move states. And so this is awesome because it is an official MLB mascot. Like, there's no mistaking him. It is Mr. Met from the New York Mets. It says everything on him. So you can see that he is 100% legitimate. Okay. So next... More Little Mermaid. Like I said, I think we got the full we did get the set. set. So, who is the, what is the Little Mermaid set without Chef Louis? And I know you guys are singing the song right now if you're Disney fans. So, he's actually got a Sebastian in his hand with a lettuce leaf in the other hand. Um, and of course, you know, that scene is really iconic. They're doing a live action Little Mermaid, so I'm excited to actually see when they do that scene in Chef real life. Chef Gordon Ramsay. And there's actually a, if you guys didn't know, there's actually a thing where so a lot of fans want Gordon Ramsay to play Chef Louis. That'd be I, think, cool. I think that would be really funny. I think it would be cool. Yeah. Alrighty, not to be forgotten, Gabby. Gabby. So she is, I wouldn't say the villain esque, but she sort of appears that way in the movie. Uh, just watch the movie. Just watch the movie. Uh, but she's played by Christina Hendricks. Um, from, who a lot of people know her from Mad Men, which is a show that I love, and Funko just announced that they're doing a Mad Men series, which of course I'm going to be on the hunt for that when that comes out. Um, so, Gabby Gabby, we tried to complete our Toy Story 4 set with this, which I think... We need Alien. We need Alien. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, excited about that. And what do we have next, Thomas? Uh, this is a movie scene, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. So, again, going back to the Batman 80 Years edition, this is the 1989 movie with uh, <clears throat> Michael Keaton plays Batman. Uh, this is the part where he pushes the Joker off the ledge, or Joker falls off the ledge. It's sort of like that ambiguous scene where does he actually kill him, does he not, sort of thing. Uh, it's a great movie, iconic. Like, this is one of those films that you should have seen if you have not already. Um, it's just amazing. So the detail, intimacy, the gargoyle, the Batman symbol in the back. I mean, it's just, uh, then the box itself with a gold embroidery. Everything about this just pops. Pops, pops, pops. Get it. Ha, ha. Said it twice. Alrighty. And last but not least. This is our last one from this box. It's a big box. And it's one of our Toy Story 4. So our series is now complete except for the alien, which we now still have to find. Yes. Of course, we saw them all over the place when the series first came out. Yes. And another one now we can't find, but we'll keep trying. So we have Combat Carl, which I got. He did a cute little scene in the movie. Yep. Would have been cool to see him do a little bit more. They, um, if you've seen the movie, you know that he's actually got a couple different action figures. So it would have been actually cool to see like a chase version of Combat Crow, where he had multiple outfits. Outfits, yes. So, um, so yeah, pretty cool to get that. 
Um, we're missing two items from the order um, that got shipped separately. Um, now, of course, what I'll do is once we actually have those, since that's all part of one set, we'll open them and I'll edit this video and that video together. Um, so for now, we're going to pause and we should have the rest of them in a couple of days. We'll unbox those, add those to that video, and then you'll see everything we got for the uh, Hot Topic deal. Thank you so much. See you in a bit. Hey everyone, this is Two Kitten Funko Review. This is the remainder of our Hot Topic stuff. Uh, we told you um, earlier in this video, because we're editing them together, that when we get the other ones in, we're going to open them up and show you what we got. Um, it is a smaller box, so... I was a little concerned because half the box is sort of crushed. It's a little smushed. So, I wanted to see. Here's our rescue. It looks pretty good. So this is Avengers Endgame Rescue. Try not to... The box on the back looks a little dented. No, it looks fine actually. So. Alrighty, and then this is my Witch King Hellbeast, Bellbeast combo. I don't know if you guys can see it with all the plastic, but... So it looks like you only have two more to get in the set. Yeah, the hardest ones, Legolas and Gimli. So, there's only two missing from that big old box. Um, and they literally just came in. The guy literally just knocked on our door like five, ten minutes ago. So, so that is what we got. That completes our... Hot, hot Topic. Hot Topic Funko. $500 uh, shopping spree. $500 for $250. Um, I think Hot Cash actually ends today. Today, today or tomorrow. Um, so, you guys have your Hot Cash. Go use it now. That's it. Um, so, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe on YouTube. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Two Kittens Fun Co. Uh, we are still doing the giveaways. Want to tell them about the giveaways? 250 YouTube subscribers, 500 Instagram subscribers. We're giving away a Lion King mystery box. Which we have already opened. There is a video. Well, we opened ours because we're keeping one. Um, so feel free to like, subscribe on both here on YouTube and on Instagram. Tell your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Next time.